Hi everyone, it's Claudia. Welcome back to Cloud Dolls. This week I was seeing a movie, Aquaman, and I saw this. Oh God, this man, my God. And then I saw this, and I fell in love. A jellyfish dress. So I choose Expectra from Monster High because she has the hands and foot, they are transparent and as always I clean her with a nail polish without acetone, the body and the face with 100% pure acetone. After that I give her three layers of Mr. Super Clear always and always don't forget to use the mask because it's really toxic. Let it dry between the layers for 30 minutes and with pastel and watercolor pencil I start building the face. I start with blushing, sketching the eyes. I give her turquoise eyes. She's a wonder water creature. Sometimes you have to turn around the doll so that you can uh, have a symmetric eyes. If you want to know the kind of material that I use, I always put the description below so that you can check it out. Don't forget to see my video from Sunflower, my giveaway birthday, I was birthday this month, it's until 31 of May. So it's almost finished. If you want to win her, you just have to like the video, subscribe my channel, please, ring the bell button and share it. Sharing is caring, as they say it. It's really important for us artists to have the support and of course leave your comments. It's always nice to read it and see that you have the same passion as me. One of the things that I feel sad about it is because, well, I don't have a sister to share this uh, love with her, this passion. And my daughters, they really don't have any interest in my dolls. So, I talk with everyone about it. I think everyone thinks that I'm crazy because the only thing I say is and the only thing I talk about it is about dolls so but I, I don't care it's my passion is what makes me happy and you just have to do what makes you happy I'm giving her the final details in the mail and in the face and then I'm gonna seal my work with the uh, two layers of Mr. Super Clear
with my acrylic paint I'm gonna give her the highlights very important they give a more shape and more detail to the face and the highlight catcher from the eye I also give her some highlights to the lips. With these wires and with this purple pom pom, I'm gonna try to make the crown, the back side of the dress, like this. I just put some hot glue and I stirred it inside and I waited it dries and then I'm gonna cover it with a purple tool and sew it by hand I'm making my own vision of the dress I'm not trying to copy or anything like that if you like my videos don't forget to subscribe my channel ring the bell button like it and share it please I found this ribbon in my convention store and I think she really looks like a jellyfish and I'm gonna apply it also and sew it by hand to the wires this ribbon with the glitters, vinyl, uh, I don't know That's how she look after I give her some glitters also in the top. For the dress, I'm gonna use this fabulous purple shiny leather. It's not real, by the way. I'm gonna cut the dress with my mold. After all the pieces are cut, I'm gonna close the dress with some filter. I'm gonna sew everything by hand. I'm gonna use these wires and some beads so that I can uh, give it the shape that I wanted to finish the crown and the dress. And that's how she looks. 
she really looks like a coral. I'm going to finish with this gemstone. With some hot glue. And look, she looks amazing. I'm really proud of my work. I'm going to attach her in the back side of the crown with a big red gemstone to finish it. And then I'm going to attach it to the dress, the back side. For the dress, I'm going to use the same techniques with the ivory and the beads. To decorate it. I also in the bottom decorated with the same uh, ribbon, jellyfish ribbon, that's how I call it, with the glitter vinyl ribbon that I don't know the name but I think she's really pretty. Finally, I bought glowing in the dark paint and I'm giving her some touches to the dress and to the crown also. After all, jellyfish, they glow in the dark. I was like three or four days thinking if I want to give her some shoes or not but then I decided no I'm gonna leave her like that because I like the picture of the transparent uh, foot for the hands I'm gonna give her some nails long nails and I'm gonna use the technique of the hot glue that I'm not really expert on it I'm doing my best and Yes, it's going to look a little bit strange, I'm sorry, next time it's going to be better and I'm going to trim it with a scissor and then I'm going to paint it with a baby blue acryl paint. I know I'm not using my glasses at this moment. And now it's time to see the hair with the face. And she looks beautiful. I'm gonna brush it. And I'm gonna do my best to give a, a hairstyle because I'm not really a hairdresser but I always try to do my best after 1001 attempts that's what I get I'm just going to make her a ponytail and 
I'm going to be happy with that. And I hope you're going to be happy with that also. Because <laughs> really, I have to improve my abilities of hairdresser. Maybe some tutorials of uh, some classes. To redeem myself, I'm gonna decorate it with these bottles and uh, with glitter glue. To give it more eye catcher, more interest. With my varnish glossy, I will gloss her lips and her eyes. I give it three layers. And with this, our jellyfish princess is ready. So I'll let you with the final photos of her. Don't forget to subscribe my channel, please, if you don't want to lose the next videos. Cherry is caring. And I need your support. And I see you in the next video. Bye!